Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to do a little uh, lesson on subtracting phasers. I know you just learned adding phasers, but uh, subtracting phasers is not hard, so we're going to add it on right now, okay? And the nice thing about subtracting phasers is it's exactly the same as adding phasers, except for a couple of little things. Now, before we start subtracting phasers, let's talk about subtracting. You know, we're going to go back to level, not level, grade, okay? Grade one, all right, where you first started to learn Grade two, maybe, when you first started to learn how to subtract, okay? So let's take a look at what uh, subtracting is and what's going on. Now, if I, well, let's start with adding, right? Let's say I was just adding six plus uh, four, okay? Six plus four. And we all know it's going to be equal to 10. But if I looked at them as phasers, guys, I would uh, be able to draw them in my little phaser world here, and uh, they would look like this. I'd have... Uh, a phaser that was six and these are all at there's no angle included so they they all must be at zero or all at the same angle so here's my six right and uh, to it I'm gonna add four all right and the result is a line that starts here and ends there and you can see that it is uh, 10 but what if I'm actually subtracting so let's take uh, you know six minus four okay and we all know that that's going to be equal to two now, if I were to draw those phasers, you know, I'd have a phaser that's six and I have another phaser that's four, and how am I gonna make that, you know, equal to two? And what's actually occurring here, guys, is that you're going uh, six plus minus four, okay? And so if I were to draw those as phasers, let's do that for a second here. Here's my little phaser world here. Because these are the same, by the way. 6 minus 4 is exactly the same as 6 plus minus 4. Okay? So if I were to draw those two phasers, guys, I'd have my phaser, my 6 phaser right there. Right? There's my 6. And my minus 4 would be sitting over here like this. This is minus 4, right? Because we already talked about positive phasers out that way, negative phasers out that way. Now, if I take this minus 4, this phaser and go tip to tail, it's going to end up moving over to here. All right, so here's my minus four. And you can see the resultant, which is going to be a line starting at the beginning of the first one and ending at the end of the last one. The resultant is right here. It's two. All right, and so that's actually what's occurring when I am subtracting numbers. I'm actually adding a negative number. And that's what we did down here. Now, it's going to be exactly the same for subtracting these phasers because if I were to draw these guys, I'd have 130 amps at 25 degrees and then I'd have 60 amps at 80 degrees and there's no way to draw that so that, you know, it's going to work out. So what you're actually going to do and what I'm going to tell you you need to do is anytime you see a subtraction problem, I want you to cross out the word subtract and write in add, okay? And then cross out the angle of the phaser being subtracted and add 180 degrees to it, plus 180, okay? And uh, if I go 25, well, that's going to be 205 degrees, okay? And then... I want you to just add them up like you would add any other phasers. You're literally going to add 130 amps at 205 to 60 amps at 80. And what we've actually done here is we've converted it from this to this, okay? And we took the phaser being subtracted and we added 180 degrees to it. So instead of it being out here, guys, we just made it look like this. And then we can just move them tip to tail and add them together. So once I've done these first two steps, step one, okay guys, is cross out subtract, write in add. Step two is cross out the angle, add 180 degrees to it. In other words, we're making this thing negative, okay guys? And then we're gonna add them together. So here's our little phaser world now, and we're gonna draw them and add them exactly the way we add any other phasers. So we've got 130 at 205 degrees, so 90, 180, 205, okay guys, so it's down here somewhere, all right, there's my 
130 at 205 degrees. It was up here. We made it negative, okay? So that we could add it. And then we're gonna go 60 at 80. So 60 at 80 would be right here, right guys? But I'm gonna move it tip to tail, all right guys? Something like that. And it's gonna be less than half the length of that one, right? That's 130, that's 60. So this is gonna be 60 amps at 80 degrees, okay? And the resultant, guys, is gonna be this line right here, R, okay? And it's gonna have a vertical component and a horizontal component, all right? And now we're just gonna calculate those right now. Okay, guys, I scraped that all up, and so I spliced this in because I messed up on that one. So we are calculating the um, vertical and horizontal components. Let's do them one at a time. The horizontal component, guys, is going to be uh, phaser one, 130 cos 205 plus, oh, uh, let's uh, 60 cos 80. And uh, if I calculate that, let's do it right now, 130 cos 205 plus 60 cos 80 equals, looks like the horizontal component is minus 107, guys, 0.4. We're going to calculate the vertical component. It's going to be one, oh, let's write it down, 130 sine 205 plus 60 sine 80. Okay, guys? And so it is going to be 130 sine 205 plus 60 sine, oops, 80 equals, looks like it is 4.148, okay? And then we're gonna calculate the resultant. It's going to be the square root of 107.4 squared plus 4.148 squared. So we'll do that calculation here. It is going, notice that I'm not putting the negative sign in there because I'm doing the square root, okay? I don't want it to screw me up. 107.4 squared plus 4.148 squared equals root equals. Looks like it is 107.5 amps, all right? That's the result. That is that brown line. Now there's one thing we can get, one more thing we can calculate, and that is the phase angle. It is going to be the opposite side, which is the vertical component, guys. 4.148 over the uh, adjacent side, minus 107.4, shift tan, okay, inverse tan. Now, here I have to keep the negative sign in there, or else I'll get screwed up. 4.148 divided by minus 107.4 equals shift 10 equals and it's saying it's minus 2.21 you know degrees now does that look like minus 2 to you i don't think so i have to add 180 all right and the reason i have to add 180 is because it's stupidly Calculating it off the 180 degree line because it is to the left of the purple line here. Okay, guys So I'm just gonna simply hit plus 180. Okay equals 177.8 Degrees and I can believe that it's way over here by the 180 line. All right, so that's the correct answer Now this 180 that I added has nothing to do with the fact that I'm subtracting, okay? If I'm subtracting, these first two steps are gonna happen every time. I'm gonna cross this out and change it to add. I'm gonna cross out the angle of the phaser being subtracted, which is gonna be the first phaser, okay? Because I'm subtracting 130, so that's the one that's gotta be made negative. I'm gonna add 180 degrees to it to make it negative and put it in there. I'm gonna do all the math. Then, I don't care if I'm adding or subtracting phasers, guys. I'm going to look at my phaser here. If it is to the left of this vertical line, I'm going to add 180 degrees to it, regardless of whether I was adding or subtracting to begin with. Okay, so this 180 gets added. 
anytime my phaser is to the left of the vertical line. This on AD gets added every time I'm doing subtraction and it gets added to the phaser that is at the beginning or the phaser that is being subtracted. All right, guys. So hope this makes sense. And uh, your homework is going to be unit one, handout three, all right, which is going to be adding tons of phasers. Have a good day.